Hey, Mikey. Hey, Jarrah. Hey, sorry about that, man. Did you get no answer? Yeah, I called a bunch of times and no, no, there was no answer. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of moving, so we're moving this station a mile down the road. Oh, nice. Not even a half a mile, so what might have happened is the wires might have got crossed, you know, because we're, you're going to be one of the final interviews in this studio. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to hear that. Hey, I really like your record. Thanks so much, man. I, yeah, and the review was re really great. I mean, it, I feel like you just, you know, you really took the time to listen to it, and you really got what I was going for, so th thank you. I try to. Um, if I didn't like it, I would have gone on and on why I didn't. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> You know, but no, you, you've got a really good voice and you have songs to match it. And that's so important because, Mikey, I listen to so much stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. And and you've got a couple of songs that are, that are really outstanding on there. Thanks so much. Yeah, you know, I've always considered myself a songwriter. I've been writing songs since I was like eight years old. That's just always what I've done. So, you know, to have uh, to have people such as yourself saying that, you know, the songs are great, you know, that, that just makes me feel like, you know, so uh, so good about the record and just, you know, Happy to be doing what I'm doing. So where were you raised? I was raised in Long Island, New York. Okay. Yeah. Are you there now? Is that your uh, home base? Yeah, it's still kind of my home base when uh, when I'm off the road, but I'm, I'm a little bit of all over the place lately. <laughs> yeah, you're touring a lot. Touring a lot, and uh, I'm in the city a lot just for work, and then I have my rehearsal studio on Long Island, so I'm kind of, you know, kind of a little bit uh, everywhere. Fascinating. So, yeah. when you go out on a tour like this, now the Middle East, what's that all about? Because it's one, one in the afternoon on Sunday. Yeah, what that was, was we wanted, we wanted to include Boston in the tour, but there wasn't like a good day to really do it. And there's so much going on with the New York CD release show. So the only time we could really do it was on a Sunday. And we thought, well, better than the Sunday night might be because it's, you know, the weather's getting nice to, to do it during the afternoon when, uh, you know, when people are out. So. You know, that was just kind of, we're going to test it out and see if it works. Now, there's a couple of clubs that have closed down, the All Asia and another room in Somerville. So what's happened is a lot of the artists that are playing those rooms are now converging on Central Square where you're playing. Right. It's a lot harder to get I, dates even. I think it'll be fun because, you know, it's a daytime show. It's, I think it'll be something different. If it, you know, if it wasn't summer, a different story. But I think we're going to test it out and see how it works in the summer. Now, is anyone on the bill with you? Uh, yeah, there are a couple acts. I've never met them in person, but I sh and I don't know if I remember their name. They're Michael Delusa, I think is his last name. Okay. Uh, let me double check that. So, what time do you go on? I'll. I know uh, they have a sound checking at one o'clock. I'll probably go on around. I imagine two thirty ish. Okay. So two thirty at the Middle East in Cambridge. Um, no, let, I, I think doors are two o'clock, and it's better if I promote that. That way, you know, the other acts get, you know, some some people to uh, to come hang out too. Yeah, it should be a fun time. It's a great room, the Middle East. Yeah, I, yeah, I played there a couple of years ago, so I'm excited about it. Oh, you were there before. Yeah. Yeah. So now, is this your sixth release? Uh, technically, it's my it's my third full album release, but it. I think it is my, let me think here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is my sixth overall release. Because you have EPs out as well. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's sometimes, you know, it's funny. Sometimes I don't even remember those. <laughs> now, what do you play when you're live? I, I, for now, for this whole tour, I'm going to play mainly the entire new record and, and maybe a song or two from, you know, that, that did well previously from my older records. You know, maybe... I think it'll be a nine songs, a nine or ten song set. I'll probably play eight songs from the new record and one or two, you know, from the Constant Motion record and one one from the uh, Change Again record. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So you know, I've been playing the older songs for so long. I have new music to play, so I'm excited about it. Now, do you have a band, or are you going to be solo? I'll be a. Uh, I'll be mainly solo. I have a buddy of mine who plays guitar and sings. It'll be it'll be a duo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because the production's so thick on the record, so do you have different arrangements? Yeah. Well, for certain shows, there will be, like, the New York show is going to be a full band show, uh, and, you know, the L.A. show will be a trio. But what I'll do is I have a laptop that I trigger, you know, sometimes some 
some stuff from the record, like, you know, background synths or, you know, some, some loops and percussion to kind of fill it out to give people a better idea of what the record sounds like. But, uh, but the songs do work well, you know, acoustically too. So, you know, that's the thing about a song is, you know, if, it, 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 if it's a good song, it should be able to work in all circumstances. So um, hopefully, you know, hopefully it does it justice, even though it's not a full band. So, Mikey, what was the first instrument you picked up? Uh, piano. I started playing piano as like eight, eight years old. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what were your main influences when you were playing piano? What did you hear on the radio? Or what? I want to kind of get a, a handle on what was inspiring you. Yeah. Um, so my dad was a piano player and, and a composer. You know, he, he never did it professionally, but he, he probably could have. But, um, you know, he, I, I just had memories of being r really little and him just, like, playing piano and writing music. And I used to, like, kind of go and, like, hang out by the piano. I used to sit underneath it. I remember watching his feet, you know, hit the pedal. And, um, and eventually I just wanted to learn. So I, I started off, you know, he taught me my first piece of uh, classical music. And, you know, it wasn't like one of those things where, like, you know, it's, you have to take piano lessons or something. You know, I, I was genuinely intrigued by it and interested. So it was classical music, and, and my older brother was really into the Beatles. And so I learned pretty much every Beatles song. And then, you know, being from Long Island, uh, I learned pretty much every Billy Joel song as well. So it, uh, it was a combination of, like, classical music, um, some jazz, and, and, uh, and the Beatles and Billy Joel in, in my early years. 